Okay, this is our transmission and torque converter to the left area. Our hydraulic pumps, motors, and valves on the right. They have dedicated guys in each area. They, they can cross over. So we have guys that can work transmissions as well as pumps or motors as well as transmissions. Uh, again, the large components, transmissions, torque converters are taken to the disassembly area to uh, be disassembled and, and a final cleaning. Hydraulic pumps and motors are pretty well treated right in the individual bays. The all hydraulic the pump and motor guys have been to a lot of formal training. Uh, they've all been to uh, Rex Roth factory training for a week. They've all been to uh, uh, hydraulic gear pump training for a week, and they've been to uh, Sunstrand piston pump training for a week. So we are we do try to keep up on all the latest technology and the latest and greatest in the hydraulic pumps and motors. When all the components are finished in the transmission and torque converter or hydraulic pump motor area, again the same guys that disassembled them, ordered the parts, and reassembled. Also tests very similar to the engine dyno room. This particular room again is self-contained, uh, has a separate heating and air conditioning system. Everything is run on this bench as far as setting the pressures, the flows, case drains, checking for that. Uh, it's a 250 horsepower hydraulic test bench. And this, not like the, unlike the dyno, is not computerized. But it is a great tool and usually uh, gives us all the information we need to make sure the component goes out in the shape it's supposed to. This is our disassembly area. Again, all large components come back here after they're steamed at the receiving area. They're disassembled, the parts are dropped into the parts baskets. The ferrous metals go into the uh, Prosecco washer, non-ferrous goes into the Mart washer. The guys would then set the timer as a final cleaning process and this is when they would go and start ordering their parts while the uh, big iron's getting clean. When the buzzers go off and the buzz bells, then they would come, take the components out of the washers, put them into the rinse booth, rinse them off, and then distribute the iron to the different shops. For instance, the engine block for an engine would go to the engine machine shop, the cylinder heads would go to our cylinder head shop. And while that's all in process, then these get, all the technicians are ordering their own parts and make sure everything's available as they need it.